And in our top business story, the Dubai Multi Commodities Centre has reported there has witnessed a 30% increase in the number of companies registered during H1 2014 over the same period last year. As per the H1 performance report for this year, DMCC has a total number of 8,865 companies registered with the free zone as of July 2014. Commenting on the rise in the number of companies, Ahmed bin Salem, executive chairman of the DMCC, stated that the free zone has evolved to establish itself as a market. In addition to the growth in the number of companies registering, it was revealed that a total of 20.1 million kilograms of tea had been handled through the DMCC Tea Centre between January to July 2014. Furthermore, trade volumes of rough diamonds increased by 63 million carats during H1 compared to the same period last year. This year, uh, in January, we received uh, outstanding contribution to Islamic finance by an entity outside the UAE. So that speaks volumes in itself. And we, we've had uh, a number of transactions uh, with Murabah uh, under Tradeflow, which is one of the facilities that Tradeflow provides. It's a warehouse electronic receipt system that keeps enhancing and, more, and progressing. The other thing is the DMCC Tea Center um, it's making revenues, it's doubled, and it's looking to expand as well. We're looking at um, gaps within the industry currently. We're looking at the gold spot that should be launched soon. We're looking at uh, encouraging banks to provide gold bullion financing. We're looking at banks, I know it's challenging, but to at least uh, selectively, or however they see it best fit, to provide also diamond financing. Looking ahead, Ahmed bin Sulaim added that DMCC aims to further expand its global network to strengthen itself as Dubai's hub for global trade for end enterprise. The Latin American region was identified as the next destination from where the free zone aims to attract more investments over the next few years. The next uh, countries that we will visit and promote DMCC to make sure they're aware of our facilities and the community, because this is no longer a, a free zone. This is a market that, that's almost 9,000 companies in it uh, that has facilities of all kinds from A to Z in DMCC. And uh, Brazil is one that I need to visit, uh, Argentina. And I think I'm going to start off in a few months with Peru because of the London Bullion Market Association conference. I'll attend that, but at the same time meet the key, key, key players that we're targeting, spread awareness, meet with their Chamber of Commerce. Um, in Mexico, they have a uh, an entity called the Chamber of Mines of Mexico or something along those lines. So I met with them as well, and that was a, that was a very fruitful uh, meeting.